guys welcome to my psychedelic sketching session the uh, last one was two months ago and i think it's time to continue so uh, today's subject is uh, this uh, toucan and i think it's very interesting uh, to sketch it psychedelic because of his uh, colors and it's uh, obviously uh, the shape is very simple and uh, almost uh, it's two parts of, of it's very easy to try to sketch uh, this uh, bird so uh, first of all I want to show you how we will deal how uh, could we uh, divide it uh, this um, this uh, by um, um, how can we split uh, this subject to simple shapes and uh, let's go uh, so it's a body of of the bird and it's a beak and uh, we uh, could um, take um, simple measurements so uh, how are they related the body to the beak and uh, as we can see it's on the la uh, longest side is the same subject so it's the same length so it's very easy to do this because uh, I'll sketch. Um, I'll sketch immediately uh, with the pen, uh, with uh, red lines, uh, not with um, not with um, ink because ink would uh, not give me the brightness. Uh, it's uh, in black and uh, brown. I will use today uh, Pinax. Um, watercolor palette botanical palette and uh, this is a russian watercolor set and i think i will also use uh, one color of daniel smith it's moon glow i want to uh, make this uh, bird uh, not i don't want to make this bird black but i use i'll use moon glow for this purpose uh, f before we start, I will wet my colors and I take uh, for it, for this purpose, my brush and dig, dig inside. Um, so I don't use spray anymore because the palette uh, get rust and um, it would be damaged sooner or later and I want uh, to keep my palette <laughs> clean and uh, uh, rust free so the same thing I, I'll do with my moon glow and maybe a neutral tint uh, let's, let's do everything maybe I don't know so it's still my favorite palette I think I, I have <laughs> found all my colors that I use very often and I, I, if I don't have some color from this palette, I, I miss something. So let's uh, start with our uh, watercolor, uh, with our sketch. I'll sketch on uh, cellulose I, and uh, this is uh, the palette of Pinux uh, with the bright, bright colors. So this, uh, this is already psychedelic enough to have this orange and uh, let's say pink and green so it's perfect for this for this uh, subject it was our last uh, psychedelic sketching two months ago and <laughs> so So uh, the thing is how to uh, what is the posi position of um, of our subject. 
uh, we can uh, do some some simple things it's uh, we have noticed that the size is the same so I will offer so I will do here this kind of sketch sketching so I am not hesitate and I'm not very upset uh, to if the line uh, is not uh, the straight line I don't like straight lines so somehow here is my measurement but the thing is how how are these subject related to each other so um, the um, lowest point lowest point is upper it is upper than this this point so we have this point and uh, we uh, let's say we have here this lower lowest point so we start to sketch this beak and ends up somehow here the, where is uh, this uh, the under so it's a top and this is a bottom and it's not a uh, half and half so it's two thirds uh, it's larger bigger than this part so I will make first of all this part and after that I will say and it's like zig zag it's like this and where is the eye in our construction the eye is upper and somehow in the middle of this of this area or um, upper so the eye is close to the beak uh, but I think it's some somehow like this so and after that uh, we can uh, see this this is, is like an S this shape is like an S starts like here goes like this and goes like this so and this is enough for me to understand how is this bird works so it's like I would do it like this <coughs> I can also make some some marks uh, where uh, we are these um, these uh, spots uh, are and we can see okay it's here orange somehow starts here and goes to this direction and maybe it's also useful to to make this to keep this line somehow not dark and and very light uh, so it's uh, I think it's okay for now what I'm missing is it's like this somehow zigzag and I think maybe it's worse to make this uh, big, uh, little bit larger this second part so I think uh, we are ready with our sketch <laughs> and uh, let's um, let's uh, bring here um, water I will wet I will wet our surface our paper so and I'll start with uh, the la uh, late, uh, lightest areas. The lightest area is here yellow, yellow and um, I will start with yellow. So and maybe I, I will keep in mind 
uh, that I want to let this area maybe uh, without any color. So let's say I will go ahead with this yellow. Here, yellow, yellow, yellow. And uh, um, why not? Um, also here, yellow and continue with green uh, and okay I, I'm able to um, so here we already see we are about to lose our lightest thing and I have to add immediately everywhere orange and also here orange and here orange and why not here also orange it's psychedelic it's not rocket size <laughs> so <coughs> Maybe it's better to don't <coughs> mix up orange and green and add here more green to this area and also here and we have uh, here blue areas psychedelic yeah also to pick up pigment that we don't need and we can can go on with Magenta and a violet to make this part darker. See, we don't have here any color, and it's not. <laughs> it's not what I want. So I want to keep only one area without any color. It's this line. So, and I want to add more uh, green to this area adds so I hope it's psychedelic enough and let's think together about the background. I need to add the background to this in order to get everything psychedelic. <laughs> Somehow it's very strange. So I add Monclow uh, to these dark areas. It's so 
somehow not very dark but it's okay I can add also a neutral tint to this and I'm not able to make dark eye because of wetness since uh, everything is wet I'm not able to add something so I have dark color try to invest here on my orange layer so getting orange back and adding maybe bright yellow to this to this so to this area we have today very frosty sunny day and I'm working from home today and it's my lunch break and tomorrow I'll, I'll go to the office so you can expect new uh, common stories <laughs> with with the, with the park where my where I am on on the way to the office uh, so maybe also adding this colors so okay. let's try to make an eye here I will go for for the background for this area I will choose uh, this uh, color as a contrast to orange orange and blue and for this uh, I'm not sure maybe maybe uh, this magenta as a contrast to, to the uh, green so let's go I'll start um, from this area so I take clean water and wet and wet to get flow And we'll do this. I'll st I still use wet um, clean water to add some sparkles and to let watercolor work for us and continue with this side And now the bottom and adding and coming to the red part I will 
felt here green. So we have consider and we have respect color wheel <laughs> again we are very respectful dealing with color wheel rules and go again with clean water what i don't like here is this area that it comes from dark side of Tukan and I okay let's see if we could clean this eye or should we sh should we left it like uh, I, I I don't want to adjust anything uh, maybe I I'll add additional sparkles to the background here and let watercolor work. Oops, us again. And I think we are ready. <laughs> uh, yes. Maybe to um, get. What do, what do I do? I try my brush and I take this watercolor away. What do you think? <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching me. And if you don't have any questions, I'll close. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.